Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the reactions that take place during electrolysis of an aqueous solution. You should then be able to predict the products at the electrodes during electrolysis of aqueous solutions. And finally, if you're a higher tier student, you should be able to write half equations for the reactions at the cathode and at the anode. In the last video we started looking at electrolysis of aqueous solutions and remember that the word aqueous means dissolved in water. We saw that water molecules split and they produce the hydrogen ion H plus and the hydroxide ion OH minus. We've got to remember to consider these ions when we look at what happens during electrolysis of an aqueous solution. In this video we're looking at the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution and I'm showing you that here. Sodium chloride has got two ions, the sodium ion Na plus and the chloride ion Cl minus. We've also got to take into account the ions from the water and here they are. We're going to start by looking at the reaction taking place at the cathode which is the negative electrode. Two ions will be attracted to the cathode. These are the sodium ion Na plus and the hydrogen ion H plus. To work out which ion will react we need to go to the reactivity series and here it is. As we said in the last video, hydrogen is produced at the cathode if the metal is more reactive than hydrogen. As you can see sodium is more reactive than hydrogen so that means that hydrogen will be produced at the cathode. So here's the cathode and we can see hydrogen gas is being produced. So the next question is what will be produced at the anode? Two different ions will be attracted to the anode. These are the chloride ion Cl- and the hydroxide ion OH-. Now this brings us to an important rule which you need to learn. If the aqueous solution contains halide ions such as chloride then the halogen will be produced at the anode. So here's the anode and we can see that chlorine gas is being produced. That's because this solution contains the chloride ion which is a halide. If you're a higher student then you need to know the half equations for these reactions. Here's the reaction at the cathode. You can see the hydrogen ion is gaining one electron to form a hydrogen atom. That's an example of a reduction reaction. Now there is a problem here. Hydrogen atoms immediately pair to form a hydrogen molecule H2. So we need to double this equation to show the formation of H2. I'm showing that here. Now let's look at the reaction at the anode. Here it is, you can see that the chloride ion is losing one electron to form a chlorine atom. Now chlorine atoms always pair to form a chlorine molecule, so we need to double everything to show this, and I'm showing you that here. We can write this half equation in a slightly different way like this. However, both of these half equations show the same reaction, so don't worry. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the electrolysis of aqueous solutions in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok so hopefully now you should be able to describe the reactions that take place during electrolysis of an aqueous solution. You should then be able to predict the products at the electrodes during electrolysis of aqueous solutions. And finally if you're a higher tier student you should be able to write half equations for the reactions at the cathode and at the anode. 